Hi, good morning, and welcome to the Comics Experience uh, Graphic Novel of the Month Club for the month of June 2019. And our book this month is The Fantastic Glitch. Uh, we are here uh, at the store, and we are joined by the amazingly talented Sarah Grayley. Uh, Hiya. Did I, did I, I, I pronounced that right, it is Grayley, not Growley? Oh, yeah, or, yeah. Okay, very good. Grayley's perfect. Perfect, <laughs> excellent. All the way from sunny England, or maybe not sunny, I don't know, I didn't ask. Is it sunny? <laughs> It was really hot yesterday. It's kind of gray now. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Um, good morning, and and thanks for thanks for coming down and, and joining us, um, or staying there and joining us, I suppose. Um, <laughs> this is a great book. We really liked it a lot. We liked it a lot, didn't we, guys? Yeah. 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 All right. We tried. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so the first question I, I always ask. Uh, uh, why comics? What what is it? What is it about comics that it makes it the medium that you want to tell stories in? Well, I just I love drawing and I love telling stories. So putting them together was it kind of you know it just kind of came together it made made the most sense. Yeah. But like for the longest time, like I wanted to make video games, um, and then like I kind of had to plan out a video game like. Uh, when I was a kid and I was like, whoa, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Usually you need like quite a huge team, but with comics, you can just kind of go for it. Sure. Right. So, um, for me, I just kind of started drawing and then I didn't stop and uh, it kind of worked out. And then I got to do a comic about a video game. So I was like, yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you go to school to study, uh, to study comics? I, I went to school to do fine art, okay. which, I don't think you can <laughs> see in the comic. Um, and then I also did an um, illustration at university, but um, I had a bit of a bad time at the first uni, so I took a year out. I didn't really get to do comics at uni either, so it was just like a lot of drawing. Um, I took a year out and did comics on my own, and then I went back to a different uni to finish up, and I got to choose my own projects for that, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna do comics for that one, and they were like, that's drawing, that's fine. <laughs> so kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have I have a degree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you um you were doing your web comic? Yeah. Is that right? At the at the same time. Yeah. I I started that in my year off. So um I started doing a comic called Our Super Adventure, which is about me and my partner Steph and our four cats. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also did another comic called Pizza Witch, which is about a witch that makes really good pizza. Um. So I, I those were my first web comics. Okay. And then I still do our super adventure now, and it's been about seven years or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and so, were you turning in my super adventure and Pizza Witch as your as your assignments? Is that what I is that what I, I got from what you were saying? Oh no, I was just kind of doing that on the side. Oh, okay. Um, but I did do I did do kind of like a diary comic um, as uh, one of my uni hand ins, but I didn't show it to anyone. I just it to uni i got it printed and everything mm -hmm. um and it's kind of silly i should probably put that online but that was like kind of like my year it's like every week i would do um a full page comic about that week yeah. um so yeah i but that doing that was kind of like practice for doing all my other comics that i do now so yeah. it was really good yeah you've had a pretty productive year at least from yeah. <laughs> from books being released right like some of the stuff obviously you've been working on for a while they kind of like they come like a bus. They all come at once. Uh, you have you have glitch. You have Minecraft. You have um, uh, the vampire one, which I'm totally blanking on right oh, this second. Um, and, Kim and, <laughs> and our super adventure. Um, I yeah. think that you may have had like six or seven hundred pages of comics come out in a single year. Yeah, it's it's wild. Like um, I think I did because I actually drew most of them last year and i did the maths of how many pages i did that year and it was it was a lot and i was like no, never again <laughs> but um yeah no, i have seven books out this year in comic shops which is really really cool um but i'm just constantly like hey uh here's my book oh why are you looking at that book here's my other book <laughs> like, yeah. so it's been it's been pretty wild but um yeah, yeah it's really cool it's 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 pretty amazing. I mean, particularly because you're you're working in autobiography. You've got children related comics. You've got comics that are for adults. Uh, it it's it's a pretty amazing level of output. I think. Um, 
is it challenging for you to sort of switch gears between the the different styles and the different kinds of comics? Not. I kind of just the comic. All the comics I do, like, it sounds really selfish, but I'm just kind of making the comics that I wanna like. I wanna read. Sure. <laughs> so um, with our super adventure, like, that's just this being my diary comic. It's just kind of like the cute. That's. I feel that that one's like the biggest treat for me because it's like short and sweet and like I just do a comic every week and I get to kind of be like this is a cute thing that happened <laughs> like um so but um and then with Kim Reaper I, I think Kim Reaper is quite similar to like Minecraft and Glitch but it's uh kind of it's got older characters in it mm -hmm. um so but I I it's it's fun I definitely when I do conventions or signings and stuff I get like people of all ages like coming up and saying hi and I think that's really cool um and it also means that like if anyone's like oh you do comics what kind of comics do you do I can be like hey you might like this one because I yeah. do a bit of a range yeah. but that also means when people are like what comics do you do I'm like I do I list them all <laughs> I don't know which one to say <laughs> so I'm just like I'm just a cartoonist I'm just yeah 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 um so it seems to me that you were probably last year, I suppose, doing two and or three pages of comics a day. Yeah? Yeah. On average? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how how do how do you keep up with that level of work, I suppose? So um I schedule I schedule really hardcore. So like I know exactly what I'm doing like a week, two weeks, a month from now. <laughs> Um, and then also if I if I forget I'm doing a signing or I need a day off and then I have to reschedule everything <laughs> but um, I'm really lucky like comics is my full-time job um, so it's like my main responsibility so I can I just kind of get up I'll work on comics all day have a bit of a break work on comics and go back to bed um, and I also I work with my partner Stefan um, who is also in our super adventure comic but he works on with me so he takes care of like the emails and like all my admin and the shop and he also helps me um like with coloring and stuff like that so that means that i can do a much bigger out uh, output of comics than if i was working on my own um and it's also really cool as well because um we we write we've been working together but we've started writing together so um we have i have glitch out with scholastic graphics um but we've also written um a book for uh, scholastic graphics which is coming out next year excited because it's like oh it's our book to, it's like our, our joint baby <laughs> cool. but um yeah no i do a lot but i have a lot of help so that makes it a lot easier yeah yeah uh where did where did glitch come from what was the genesis the of idea romance? yeah yeah uh, um i think like because I, I i just i love video games so much um and for me like growing up it's just like I was I was just like video games at everything, <laughs> and I'm still like as an adult I'm like video games at everything, oh, but also comics. Um, and I just what I love about video games is like the same with like a really good book. It's like you can just really kind of get absorbed into it, and just, just so the idea of actually literally getting absorbed into a game, I, you know, <laughs> sure. I was like yes. that sounds fun. But also um, I think I just I really like doing stories that are like you get to explore different worlds because then you can kind of do anything you want you can just kind of go wild with it so with the, and there's so many different types of video games so i was like yes she's going to go into a video game and i can just do whatever <laughs> and we can just like have a lot of fun with it yeah. so yeah i i just want to go inside video games like <laughs> but i can't so i did a comic about it instead <laughs> um uh did you pitch this book directly to scholastic did it did it was it bouncing around before that? How did how did the, the sort of the, the the project come about? I suppose. Um. So I have this um, agent called Stephen um, Sophia. He's great. Um. And he approached me and was like, "Oh, you know, uh, your comics, let some comics." And I was like, "Yes, that sounds awesome." So uh, we put together a glitch, handed it to Stephen, and then he kind of was just kind of put it in the universe. <laughs> Um, and there were quite quite a few um, publishers wanted to uh, put it out, which was really cool because I was like, "Wow, I haven't had a <laughs> it's like um, people want to want to make my book." So it was really really cool. But um, when Scholastic were like, "Yes, we're interested in this," I was like, "Wow, it's Scholastic!" Um, kind of like the book fairs are, I think, are really awesome, and um, it's like nostalgic as well because it's like I love the book fair at school. So I was like, it just seemed like the perfect fit. 
so yeah um shout out to steven <laughs> Nice. Nice. Yeah. Did you uh, what what kind of uh, what kind of a pitch did you put together? Uh, sort of tell tell us about that process. So um, I think it was like twelve pages or something. It was like the first twelve pages. Like I did all the artwork for and stuff, and then um, I kind of just like wrote what would happen in the story. So it was like the complete story just written rather than drawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, and. I guess the the twelve pages shows like uh, publishers like what the book would look like, um, but it's it's been really wild to look back on my pitch packet versus the book now because it's so much different to like what it looks like. Um, I actually um, because publishing is a bit like it's a wild world like the way that time frames work and stuff. I actually I pitched Glitch, and then I ended up working on the first Kim Reaper book. So by the time that I finished Kim Reaper, I started working on Glitch. And by doing the Kim Reaper book, like I learned so much about drawing. So <laughs> like, I think Glitch is like a lot stronger for it. Like my my pitch Glitch is, is fine, but I'm really like the actual Glitch book looks amazing in comparison, I think. So that's like really cool. Cause I'm like, whoa, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. You, uh, you said in email that you have some art and stuff that you were gonna show us. Is this, is any of it from the pitch by any chance? Oh no, I um I have a, a process um, yeah. to show like uh what a page looks like when it goes from thumbnails to like final. Yeah. So um I'm just gonna bring that up. Yeah, uh, lo love to see it. Um are you are you working traditionally pen and paper or are you working digitally? So I'm working digitally. Um I used to do uh pen and paper though. That's the thing about it, comics is like um what I love about it is like you can just go ahead and and do it with like pen and paper mm -hmm. which is what um so like my first bunch of comics like i drew them all like with a biro and i just scanned them and colored them on computer mm -hmm. but um now now everything's digital it's a, it's a little bit easier sure. <laughs> and a little bit faster mm -hmm. um yeah it's um has this come up yeah yes. we got it we can see it perfectly oh excellent cool so um my partner put this together for me <laughs> uh so yeah this is the artwork um so i've taken one of the pages and here we go. Yeah. So this is like what my thumbnails look like. So this is kind of um, what I show the share as well. To just um, how I write is um, I, I write in thumbnails. So instead of like people just type up a whole script, but like I, I like it being visual. Um, and also I like to figure out what all the expressions are going to look like and stuff before I actually go ahead and draw it. So it's like a lot scrappier. Yep. Um, and then we have, uh, we're going to pencils. So everything tightens up a little bit. Um, and then the inks gets a bit more solid. I think like all those like scratchy lines and stuff as well. Um, and then we have the colors. So, um, my partner stuff, he kind of like puts down like the base colors and then I come in and do all the shading and do like, I just tweak them and do all the special effects like the sparkles. Um, there are a lot of sparkles in my book. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Steph actually lettered, uh, glitch. He does all the lettering. Um, He's really good at it. I'm I'm a bit pants at lettering, so <laughs> I'm very lucky to have him. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of like from thumbnails to finish page, and then what it looks like as a book. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. That last one. Um, that's <laughs> great. You. That's yeah. I I love I love uh, your your thumbnails and how and just just how loose they are. Um, Thank you. Uh, it, it, it's great that, that I think that shows everybody in the room, right? That you know, you you guys can do your own art, and and maybe it's not all the way fully professional, uh, and yet you keep working on it, and and you can have something that's really beautiful. So I think that's I think that's really cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think that's super cool. Um, there she is again. Hi. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the the it's interesting that 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 Steph's doing the base color and then you're doing all the effects. Does he, mm -hmm. um, does he consult with you sitting next to you? Like I'm going to do orange here. And you're like, Oh no, that's supposed to be green. Or does he just go oh, ahead and do it? And then you, you, you work it out later. Um, I kind of like come up with all the character colors and stuff. So I'll send stuff like a sheet of being like this character outfit is this color and stuff like that. And like, so then, but with the backgrounds and stuff, stuff will generally have like, we'll take a go at it. And then I kind of like, I go in there and I'm like, 
different, slightly different green. <laughs> like, mm. I'm very, I'm very picky about my colors. Um, but yeah, we would. Um, so it's, it's it's like a collaboration, but he just, yeah, he goes for it. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, this is great. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but um, this the great thing about working together is like we live together as well. So we, um, whenever I'm working on a page, I can just turn to Seth and be like, hey, uh, what does this look like to you? Do you think we should change it? Do you think it's solid? So that's really nice to have like a second set of eyes on everything. Yeah. Um, also, that's the cool thing about layering as well. Is like Steph will be layering next to me, so I'll be working on something else. He'll be layering, and I'll just kind of, I'll just come over a quick look and be like, "Oh, that looks really cool," and then I'll get back to it. So it's really nice. Um, we give each other like feedback um, throughout the process. Yeah. Have you ever Have you ever had a big fight about comics? <sighs> no. <What? Okay. laughs> no, I might have a. Every now and again, I'll be like, "No, it should." Uh, the speech bubbles should be smaller and then stuff will be like no they need to be clear and i'll be like you're right <laughs> <laughs> so every now and again i'll be like oh yeah okay never mind <laughs> so it's been it's been okay well, that's great that's great um how about you guys you guys got any questions uh here for sarah yeah in the back are any of the characters supposed to look like you did, oh, did, did, did you hear that it, it was it was the question: Is the character supposed to look like me? Is it? That's correct. Yeah. I, um, when I when I worked on this book, I actually had a uh, hair down to my butt, so <laughs> it looked very different. Um, but I've had my hair cut, and I was looking at the book earlier, and I was like, "Oh no, I do look like Izzy." Um, <laughs> I also, when I design my characters, I tend to give them like clothes and stuff that I really like. So um, I love shorts, and like all the characters wear shorts in this book. So um, she wasn't supposed to look like me, but. Uh, yeah, she, we do look quite similar. <laughs> but at yep. the time of the book, I had very long hair. So very I good. could kind of get away with it. <laughs> yep. Who's your favorite the question was, who who is your favorite character in the book, I assume? Oh, yeah. it's Jasper, um, the cat. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's, uh, he's based off my parents' cat. So there's, there's a real Jasper out there in the world, but he's um a little bit older. <laughs> Yeah, I got a question from the internet. Someone's watching oh, on cool. the internet. Yay, the live stream. Oh, uh, from uh, Henry and Rosie, they say, what inspired you to be a writer? Um, I think like I would just really like telling stories. Like I remember at school, we used to have like a, um, whenever we went on holiday, like we have half term break and then we'd come back, they'd be like, uh, we'd, we'd go around the class and tell everyone about like what we did over half term and usually I didn't do anything interesting. I would just play video games. <laughs> um, I used to come up with like uh, stories for that, um, which I, I realized like, I was like, oh, lines, not very cool. But I did like coming up with stories. Uh, some, I think I got called down at once. Like uh, I came up with the lie that we went to the zoo and I fell in the animal cage and everyone was like, wow. Except that there's one kid that was like, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I just, um, I think as well, it's just like, I love drawing so much. And like, I, so I was like, I want to, you know draw along to something um but also uh i mean like cartoons are a huge inspiration for me um and i like i like, just love the storytelling in those or like video games are like a really cool way to tell stories as well so i just through the media that i really enjoy i was like i really want to also like do this myself like uh, um I, I just get like so inspired and then be like okay yeah, i want to actually <laughs> i want to go have a go at this as well yeah no i, I love that yes Oh. How did you, um, um, just what made you think of making the game Dungeon City? Um, I think, like, originally the game was going to be called Loot Raider, um, forgetting loot and whatnot, but, um, I kind of thought that was a I thought Dungeon City sounded a lot cooler. And then I like the idea of like it being like the world just being made up of like different dungeons um, full of like different things like robots and slime and clouds. Um, so I just, I just thought it would be a lot more fun, uh, especially on the, because you know, she, she, loot, she 
loot. <laughs> she raids the loot, loot raider. Uh, it doesn't, no, Dungeon City sounds so much better. Uh, it's a lot more sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just, uh, I thought there was uh, more to play with there. And also, I, I feel like a lot of games, like you kind of go around in the dungeon. <laughs> it's true. It's true. What's your uh, What's your favorite game to play? <sighs> That's like asking who my favorite child is. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I, How about this? What's your favorite game to play this week? Oh, I've, uh, I think I've, no, the game I'm playing is really horrible. It's really ghoulish. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I grew up with like Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, also, there's uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. There's this. Um, do you know what speed running is? Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you you play a video game as fast as possible, and there's been like this speed running game event on called Awesome Games Done Quick, and like it's a week where all these speed runners go to like one location and like they speed run games for charity. Mm -hmm. So that was so I've been watching those speed runs this week, um, which is, is also as well. Um, they like raised like three million dollars or something. Wow. It's just like all through video games, which is so cool. But uh, yeah, I've been watching speed runs. Um, my favorites were the Pokemon ones. Um, I love Pokemon, um, and Sonic 3D Blast uh, was really cool. Um, that was a game I used to play a lot as a kid. Um, but yeah, I think like Sonic's Sonic's like a big one for me. Sonic got me into video games, so I love that hedgehog. Yeah, cool. <laughs> There's also uh, a reference to him in the book um, in Izzy's bedroom. There are there's a fox and a tails uh, and a fox. A hedgehog and, and um, a fox plush, uh, which are blue and orange, and that's like a not to Sonic, the hedgehog and tails. Sure. That's cool. Yeah. Little Easter egg. Love it. <laughs> um, I have two questions. What do you think of the video game genre, and also what inspired you the most to play this book? Oh, boy. Um, I like, um, I I think they're called roguelites, um, which is basically um, video games where like the game changes every time that you play it. Um, there's a game called Dead Cells, um, which is really really fun, and you kind of, you try and make your way through the game, but and you get power ups and stuff, and they carry over to your next round. So I really like roguelites. Um, what inspired me the most to do this book, I guess, was just like all the video games I grew up and loved. Um, so yeah, I just <laughs> the fun thing about like working on a book about video games is that like I can I feel like I can play video games and be like, this is work, this is research. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, as long as you get your two pages a day done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm researching exactly. <laughs> boop boop boop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Other questions, guys? Really? Go ahead. Um, you, in the acknowledgments, you said you had two cats. What are the names and who's your favorite? <laughs> the name of my cats? Yeah, what are Wait? they? So, so oh. the specifically says you have two cats. Oh, what are their names and which one's your favorite? Oh, I, I have four cats. Does four it say cats. two cats? Oh, no. <laughs> um, Does yeah, they, uh, I have Toby, Pesto, Wilson, and Pixel, um, but I also call them Pickle. Um, None of them are in the room right now, so I feel safe in saying that Pixel's my favorite um, because he like, sleeps on me and if he wants attention, he'll just scream. Like, I'll be working away and he'll be in the hallway and like he'll just be like screaming away and I'll come around and look at him and he'll just like look at me, like blank face, like I want to hang. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're, they're all great. I love them. If, if any of them ask, I that I love them all equally. But uh, yeah, that like, pixel's great. I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to give a piece of advice to someone who wants to make comics, what would that advice be? I think just go for it. Like, um, I feel like a lot of people say that they want to make comics and they're like, but I'm practicing or I'm, I'm warming up or I'm designing all these characters first. I'm going to uh, figure out the whole world. But it's like, You'll, you'll figure it out as you go along. <laughs> like, if you if you keep planning, like your trauma is just not going to get started. So you should just start it. Um, and also as well, it's like if you feel frustrated with your comic and stuff, like you get better every page that you work on. Mm -hmm. um, my first comic, like they're not they're not very good, <laughs> but that's okay because I've done a million comic pages now, mm -hmm. and no one will ever see my first comics. But um, it's really fun. Like I worked on a lot of books um, last year. And um, 
in between like each book I can see like how my art has changed and like grown and it's I think that's really cool I think that's like one of my things about drawing is it's a, such a visual medium so you really see your improvement as you go along mm -hmm. uh but yeah I just definitely just go for it like whatever reason you're like I can't do comics yet it's like ah no <laughs> go ahead and do them anyway yeah if um it's interesting you say that you that you see improvement in your own work what what do you see as your biggest improvement that's that's happened uh i think my coloring um is something that i'm, I'm quite happy with for the moment i am trying to do brighter pages and stuff so um I'm, i've started coloring uh, my next book and i'm just like really i'm really like really stoked about about <laughs> i've colored like last 10 pages and I'm like, yeah looking good. <laughs> um yeah so that sounds like i'm patting myself on the back a lot but like you should you know if you work on something you should feel good about it yeah, um, you should but yeah, uh, probably also uh, my uh, anatomy. Uh, I feel I feel is a bit uh, tighter. Um, sometimes, like if I'm drawing something and someone's in a weird pose, like I'll I'll like take I'll pose I'll take a picture of myself doing the pose so I can figure out where everything goes. Or like hands as well. I've taken so many reference pictures of hands because I'm like, how do you hands work? They are so hard to draw. Yeah. So I feel like that's definitely gone. And my coloring and my hands have gotten better. <laughs> yeah. No, that makes that makes sense. Questions, guys? Yeah. yeah, I'd love it. Um, in one of the panels, there are four cats floating around. Are those based on your cats? It's on page 72. Page 72. Let's see. So that page. Oh, that's my favorite page. Um, I didn't, I didn't draw them into this one because I think I, I do that with all my other comics. I felt a bit guilty. <laughs> I was like, um, you know what? I'm surprised if I haven't drawn them into any of the pages. So I feel like because Jasper's in it and Jasper's a real cat, I think I was like, okay, Pesto, Toby Wilson, and Pixel can kind of they can be in the other books. But um, if you early on in the book, like in their kitchen, they have a photo of Jasper on the wall being like really majestic, um, going through the grass. And that's like a real photo that's in my parents' uh, dining room as well, which I thought was really funny. So I wanted to include that. <laughs> nice. Anything else? No? Oh, you, <laughs> we got all his questions. Good. Oh. <laughs> the rest of you guys? No? Sequel. Sequel. Is there going to be a sequel? Um, I kind of have ideas for a sequel, um, but I'm I'm working on like so many different things at the moment, so it's kind of just we'll see we'll see what happens. Like I would I would like to do a sequel because like there's so much that like could happen with Izzy and Eric now. Uh, so I I just really I, it would be really fun to explore that. But um, yeah, at the moment I'm currently working on um, a different book called Dinner at the Destroyer. So that's like the thing that will come out next, I think. <laughs> Can you repeat the name of the book again? You said it really oh, fast. It's called, oh, sorry. Um, it's called Donut the Destroyer. Uh, it's about a girl called Donut. But she, she's not an actual donut. She's like a real girl. She's just named after donuts. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, as you do. <laughs> yeah, as one does. Yeah. Um, you do a, a, a weekly autobio strip. Mm -hmm. Kim Reaper is serialized as a regular periodical comic. And then you've got this, which is a 100 and 200 whatever page book. <laughs> what are the differences for you between working in the different um, sort of spaces of comics? So, um, yeah, Glitch is like the longest book. So it's kind of like I've got a lot of room to play in that. I've got a lot of room to get like a lot of story in that. But um, whereas like... Kim Reaper, it's uh, it comes out in like 22 pages, like at, at a time. So for that, I've got to make sure that everything like fits in very tidy in those 20 pages. And I don't think take 22 pages as much to do stuff in. So that can be like quite stressful because it's like, oh, <laughs> but um, and our super adventure is just like it's four panels. So it's got to like it's that's a very quick story each time. So that's the fun thing about Glitch. It's like it's so much longer. I can do like so much more in in those pages. So um, yeah, it's just like spacing it, I suppose. Um, but writing it as well, it's like, I know how many pages it's gonna be. So um, writing it can kind of be like, I'll get halfway through writing it and I'll be like, oh, am I gonna have enough pages to finish this? Or I'm gonna have too many pages to finish it. And it's, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of like juggling. Um, I'd also say the other thing, um, 
when I work on it, like I'll do all the pencils in one go, all the inks in one, like the next stage, and then all the coloring. So um, I can work on a book, like I can pencil a book for a really long time, then I'll come back to ink it, and like, I'll totally forget. <laughs> what I've like drawn um, and there'll be like some background stuff that, like catches me by surprise um, I was inking a page from like forever like I penciled forever ago like recently and I forgot I like I put a very very tiny burger in the kitchen I was like what um, so that's kind of fun but uh, yeah it, it's also it, it takes it takes longer to finish everything so um, whenever I'm working on like comics I'm like I'm so excited for everyone to see them um, so like I'll, I'll write, like I'll write a comic, um, and I'll be like, okay, I'm really excited to draw like a page 132, but I have like 131 pages before that that I have to do. Yeah. <laughs> so that could be like a little bit frustrating. But then it means as soon as you get to like a hundred page 132, you're like, oh yes, <laughs> I'm finally here. I get to draw that awesome page. Um, but yeah, so it's it's very different, but uh, it's still yeah, it's still really fun. And I think yeah, I think like having a longer comic means I could just get to do more. Okay. Um, so it's not any yeah. harder for you necessarily to fill up all that space um, when you're when your muscles are used to dealing with a, a much smaller space. I think like maybe the writing stage is like the hardest because mm. it's like um, yeah. So as if I'm writing something, like I will go back through it over and over and over and over and over again just to make sure everything like fits in. Uh, whereas with something like twenty two pages, it's like that's so much quicker to work on and I can I can check over it a lot quicker and do this works whereas if I've got like 188 pages I gotta read all 188 pages and I'm like that I'm a slow reader as well so because I like to take everything in um so it's just it's a much longer writing process for me um but then what's done I kind of I have all my thumbnails I just go for it so uh yeah I guess it's like harder in the writing stage but um like if someone if someone picks up glitch versus like an issue of Kim Reaper, like I know that someone's gonna get the whole story, whereas someone might only get like issue one of Kim Reaper, and I'd be like, no, issue two is really good, <laughs> like, and they might not get it. So uh, that's uh, that's what I like about graphic novels is you get like the whole story. So if you had your way, you would just be doing long form work. Um, I think so. Like I. Uh... I, my mind changes on it a lot. I, <laughs> sure. um, at the moment, I, I'm just doing long form stuff and I'm really enjoying it. So um, I think that's what I'm currently into. Yeah. Um, it, interesting, you said that you go and you, you write the whole thing, then you pencil the whole thing, then you ink the whole thing. Uh, I think you're the second cartoonist that we've spoken to who works like that, the other being Dan Klaus. Um, yeah. Is it... Is it hard for you to maintain your interest the fifth time you're going through the story, you know? Um, and, and maybe your sensibility about something has completely changed from, from, you know, eight months ago, not eight months probably, but several months ago when you penciled it, or, you know? Um, I feel like... Because like, if I work on a page and I feel really strongly about a page, then I get really excited about the next stage for a page. So um, also, because I, I do our super adventure um, just throughout it all the time. So whatever happens at the end of the week, I get to do something different. Or like every now and again, like I'll be doing like some other work while working on a graphic novel. So it's like a quick little, it's still work, but it's like a different kind of work. So it keeps everything a bit fresh for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's definitely like, Coloring is like my my favorite stage of the book. So when like I pencil like a really exciting page that I know is gonna have like some really crazy color on it, like that keeps me going. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay, I gotta go through all my pencils, all my inks, because I'm so excited to color that one page. Uh, what I mean, like it's usually like fifty odd pages. Um, but yeah, I no, I, 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 I think, yeah, I, I'm I I keep I'm pretty enthusiastic throughout, I, throughout the I whole process. Tell. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think it's just so um I feel really lucky that I get to make comics. Um yeah. I'm constantly like I'll I'll be just laying in bed like at night being like, Oh I make comics for it. like that's my job. That's wild. So um yeah, I'm just constant I'm just a ray of sunshine. And so like I have like a really tight deadline and then I'm like everything is stress. Ah and then like I'll get through the deadline and I'll be like, I love comics. <laughs> everything is great again. <laughs> So you said the coloring is your favorite step. What's your least favorite step of doing comics? 
Uh, it's got to be inking, which yeah. I'm, I'm inking um, my graphic novel right now. <laughs> so, um, but that's just because I'm I'm so slow at it. So I I've got like, and also it's like um I think it's the stage where I have to do le the least amount of thinking. So um yeah I, or or it's like it's the stage when I'm like oh but, coloring's next, but I got to get through inking first. Uh, but it. I can like watch a lot of TV while um, I'm inking something and get like a lot of work done at the same time. So um, I just finished Grey's Anatomy. I'm really upset. I'm, I've run out of that. I've got to find a new TV show. Um, I've been watching the speed runs all week and that's over now. So I'm like, what's the next thing? <laughs> <laughs> what would you What would you guys suggest the next thing be? Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what's the question? What are you reading? Do you have time to read? Who are you reading? Oh, um, I just read um, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me, um, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, I have a lot of books, though, that are unread in my house at the moment. Um, so my, my kind of plan is when I finish um, the book I'm currently working on, that I'm probably just going to take a week and just read all of my unread comics. I am extremely excited. <laughs> but, um, yeah, actually, I, I've, yeah. I've got, I've got, I've got a big stack to read. Um, but like, uh, Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me is absolutely beautiful. And that some again, like I'll pick up a book and I'll be like, but I have to read it right now. Like I'll be like, I have to finish this comic, but I have to read this comic first. Um, so that was one of the books. I was like, I can't wait. I'm going to dive in. <laughs> Love it. Um, I have another uh, question from the internet from Henry and Rosie. It's actually kind of close to the question you just got asked. So, We'll, we'll maybe oh, modify okay. it ever so slightly. It was, who is your favorite writer or book? So you can answer Ooh. either part of that, I suppose. Um, I, re I really love... Um, uh, have you heard of uh, Miranda Harmon? Miranda? She's Miranda Harmon. She's um, mm. currently working on a book called uh, May a Good Boy, which is not yet. But um, she does like these minis, uh, which is interesting which is also great. Like web comics are awesome. Um, so every now and again, when someone posts a comic online, like I'll get to read that because they're quite short and sweet. Yeah. So uh, but I, I love her minis. They're so heartfelt and they're beautifully illustrated. Um, and there's a web comic um, called Close Your Eyes and Look at the Mountains, I think, uh, which I really enjoy when that updates. Uh, so I, 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 can't, I can't choose a favorite. I mean, I really, uh, Brian Lee O'Malley is like a big inspiration for me. Um, I love his work. Um, I really enjoyed Seconds and Scott Pilgrim. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, favorites are hard. I just have lots of, lots of favorites. Um, I'm also very, very lucky, like, um, the comics community is very, um, like when I, when I go to shows and I see all my friends, like, are tabling at the shows and stuff and be like, I really love their work and they're also my friends. So, uh, that's really fun. Um, I love all of those guys. Uh, sorry, that wasn't, that wasn't a favorite. That was just kind <laughs> of. No, me rambling. I like that. No, I like that. I think that's a good answer. Uh, you can have cool. many favorites too. You know, I, I uh, and and comics are such a great medium that it's it's very easy to to read so many different things. Um, you're, I assume that when you were doing the web comic, you weren't really making any money doing it, and now you've got to deal with Scholastic. So I presume that they gave you a pretty reasonable advance. So. <laughs> um, I think my question there is, is there a difference for you between when you were doing comics for love more than money versus versus now when you're actually getting, you're able to earn a living from it? Um, Does that, is that, was that a, a good question or that, that might have been a terrible question? <laughs> um, that's why I'm trying to think how to answer. Because um, the webcomic's really weird, like... Um, I mean, I was, I was doing um, our super adventure, and that I was, I was, it was, you know, it was, it was getting, it had like a nice readership and stuff. And then one day it just exploded, and it went viral. And then I had a lot more eyes on it. Um, and during that week, because I, um, I self-published our super adventure up until this year, Only Press now put it out. But um, so yeah, I was self-published, and. Um, in a week they went viral i sold like a lot of books which was really like wild um so yeah um i i did go from to being not right for a bit that was cool um but i do so many different comics as well it's like a, i'm kind of in a position at the moment where um everything's very nice <laughs> i'm constantly working though um that's not really an answer um 
it's it's weird one. Like I, I feel everything I work on, I love. Um, so I feel, and I, I love I love doing um, the bricks with Scholastic as well. Like doing creator rain stuffs really exciting. I, I every now and again I'll I'll dip in and do some licensed work, uh, which is really fun. It's so cool to play in in those worlds and with those characters. I've like I've I've done stuff with Invader Zim, Rick and Morty, and Minecraft. Um, but I, I think doing my career own stuff, so like the stuff that I like, I I love doing it. It's it's so exciting to like create your own worlds and your own characters and then share them with people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really cool, like working with uh, publishers like uh, Scholastic, because it's like the the book gets out there versus I'm I'm in England, <laughs> um, so the R Super Adventure books. It's like if you want an R Super Adventure book, you got to find me at a show in England, or like I'll mail it to you. But it's like really. <laughs> postage is a lot so um i think there's a big difference working like from just doing my own thing to like working with a publisher is that like it definitely gets my books become so much more accessible which is like so exciting um so that's one of my favorite things um but yeah i mean every, everything i work on i love and i'm usually juggling a couple of books at a time because everything like i and people are like do you want to work on this thing and it's like i would love to <laughs> so um yeah, I just uh, I'm I'm very busy. Um, I don't know how to round off this answer. <laughs> Is that an answer? <laughs> no, 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 it's a good answer. It was it was a it was an oddly stated question. So I think that's a perfectly well stated answer. Um, Excellent. Uh, because you're working so, I, and I and I, I know I keep coming sort of back to this. You did 600 pages or whatever last year. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot of work. Did you did you ever hit burnout, or is it? I mean, my my expectation is, is no, because I can just see how excited you are about comics, which is great. Um, but but does it get hard sometimes trying to juggle um, that many projects? Um, I think I had a little bit of burnout earlier this year. Like, I I think I got Christmas. Um, I got like a board game that I backed on Kickstarter, and that's all I wanted to do. Like, I was just like, I can't can't do comics. Like, I've done all my deadlines. I was just gonna play board games <laughs> like a week, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do comics, and I was just like, I was a lot slower uh, than uh, what I was like. I think as well as like when you're deep in a project and you're like, you're you could like, I can do this many pages a day, and then you schedule your next book and you're like, I can do this many pages a day, but then you get to it and you're like, I can't consistently do this many pages a day. That's wild. <laughs> so um, I think I was like. I came off my other project, I was like, okay, for this project, I'm going to do like a million pages. And then I got to like the next project after my break. And I was like, I'm not doing a million pages a day. This is impossible. So I was definitely like a lot slower. I feel like I'm finally getting, I'm ramped back up again now. So it's good. But um, yeah, like it's, it's really important to take breaks. Um, I think as well, it's like, I, I've got friends who are like, I'm working on comics. I have gone to sleep for two hours and now I'm back on comics and I'm like that's not good at all so I always, I always get like my eight hours of sleep otherwise I'm like useless mm -hmm. um but yeah no last year was very intense um but I'm really lucky that I work with my partner Steph so yeah. like we kind of team worked it yeah and now I'm like okay just no more than two books at a time right <laughs> it's even that like I want to work on one book at a time um so yeah, I'm being a lot more responsible with my uh, schedule now. But it has been it's been fun to be like I have seven books out this year. And, <laughs> Last and, year was crazy. <laughs> and and do you think that that Steph gets any burnout from uh, from working on so many comics? Well, he's he, I think he's playing Mario Maker two right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, luckily, the because of the workloads and stuff like um he's supposed to be flatting stuff but he can't flat stuff until i ink stuff so right. um he gets like a little break at the moment mm -hmm. so that's good um but yeah i think um it's, it's like if, if stuff's like tough like it's usually tough for both of us so it's yeah. not like i'm ever on my own or anything yeah. so it's like oh he's like oh i'm so tired oh the comics are magical yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. so yeah i um but yeah my, my advice to anyone that's juggling a bunch of stuff is like Hey, like carve out like if you're working on a book, like make sure you carve out some time at the end to just like recharge. That's yeah. like so important. And I'm yeah, I am definitely planning a holiday uh, for after I finish the book. So I'm I'm very excited about that as nice. well. Nice. Do I have any more questions? Yeah, please. Um, two questions. Yes. What's your favorite novel and novel writer? Hmm? What's your favorite novel and who's your favorite novel writer? Pros. 
Um, <clears throat> can I say goosebumps? Is that okay? <laughs> I say goosebumps, of course. Any answer is okay. Excellent. Um, because I mean, like, I haven't outside of comics, like, I haven't really been reading much. So, um, like for me, uh, growing up, like, Goosebumps was my favorite book series. Um, it was also what 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 was at the library? Like, I could get a lot of Goosebumps from the library, and I totally like burnt right through it. Uh, so yeah, I just I think R.L. Stein's great. I love him. Um, but he, he, I say that, yeah, Goosebumps and R.L. Stein. But um, yeah, mainly what I'm reading these days is just graphic novels. Um, it's because I, I do a lot of comic conventions, so it's because I'm at the comic shows, and then like I'll nip away from my table and I'll, I'll pick up like 20 books, and I'll be like, they're all graphic novels. <laughs> and then I'm like, this is this is what's on my to read list. So, and and um, what if you what if you could do a Goosebumps comic? I would love that. Yeah. R.L. Stein, get at me. <laughs> I would. Um, that would probably be like one of the uh, the dream things to work on. I think. Um, I, that's I definitely mean, Scholastic had for license for a little while. Scholastic, hmm? Scholastic put out oh. a couple of DreamWorks. Uh, uh, <laughs> Goosebumps comics, DreamWorks. Where did that come from? Um, uh, so maybe you should talk to your editor because you know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I would be. I'd be like. Yeah, that'd be really fun. Like, I love spooky stuff as well. So, um, I'm like really into zombies. I think zombies are pretty cool. <laughs> so, something, something with Arrow Stein, something with zombies. Yeah, I think, I think that could work. Oh. It probably look pretty cute zombies. So, I'm kind of into drawing uh, spooky, cute stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. if you want to take something in that direction. Yeah. And out of comic books, graphic novels, and manga, what's your favorite? Hmm. So his question was between comic books graphic novels and manga what what would be your favorite i right. think comic books oh sorry oh no no graphic novels sorry graphic novels. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah because you get like the you get the whole story yeah. like generally there yeah. so um but i do i do have uh some poor lists um i definitely i, lo I love i love getting like comic books and as well as like i because uh, most of my friends are also comic artists and stuff like that. So they'll be like, I've got a new series coming out and it's really exciting to like add it to my pull list and like get a new book from them like um, every month. So it's really cool. But um, oh, I mean, they're both great. Um, I haven't read much manga, but like I'm that I know I know that like generally their series is sort of quite they're quite big, aren't they? Right. So, uh, yeah, maybe I should sit down with some. I think that'd be pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's wrap it up a little bit here. What uh, you've already told us about one thing that you're working on. What else do you have coming up in the next couple of months? Let's say. Um, I have a um, as part of the R Super Adventure Universe. Um, I do travel logs. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to uh, Toronto Comics and Art Festival um, last year and the year before. But um, I have a, a diary comic travel log um, about my trip to Canada and that show. So that's coming out, um, I believe, November 5th through Oni Press. So uh, yes, I have that. That's on the horizon. Um, but I also have um, the second R Super Adventure book as well. It's coming out through Oni Press uh, in June or July. That should be on my whiteboard and it's not. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have I have my R Super Adventure books. Uh, they update, like, um, R Super Adventure updates like every Monday as well on rsuperadventure.com. So, um, but I, yes. I have Donut the Destroyer coming out through Scholastic Graphics next year. So um, there should be more info about that soon. Uh, me and Steph write it. Um, I'm currently drawing it and I'm super excited about that. So that will be out a little further away, but I'm yes, extremely excited for that. Awesome. I, I think we're all looking forward to Donut the Destroyer, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a great title too. I love the title. Thank you. Um, very good. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Um, uh, I really admire your passion and enthusiasm and just <laughs> general contagious excitement about comics. Oh, okay. um, it's how I feel about them too. So, so that's that's a pretty exciting thing. Um, Glitch was a, a great book, and and you guys all loved it, right? Yeah. 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 So, I cannot wait to keep seeing comics from you, Sarah Grayley. I fully expect that you're going to be drawing comics for the next. 30 or 40 years. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Right. Um, and I, and I, and you'll have 70 or 80 books at the end of that. It sounds like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she thought about it for a second, but yeah, yeah, maybe so. Um, 
Great. So if you're at home, uh, uh, you want to read a, a fun, exciting book uh, about someone who goes into video games, and it's just fun, um, I thoroughly recommend Glitch to everybody at home. Uh, go out and grab it. Um, I want to also mention that next month's book um, will be This Was Our Pact by Ryan Andrews. Um, Ryan uh, will be joining us from Japan this time. Um, he, he'll have to get up at two o'clock in the morning in order to talk to us. Um, so I'm, I'm really, I'm thanking him in advance for that. This is a beautiful book as well. I think you guys are going to really like it. Um, and that's it for me. Uh, thank you so much, Sarah. Um, oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> absolutely. Um, thank everybody at home for watching. Uh, and we'll see you next month with the Comics Experience Graphic Novel of the Month Club. <laughs>